This is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and I want to show you how to power wash a Chromebook. It's pretty quick, pretty simple, it's a lot faster than resetting a Windows or Mac system. And so you go down here to the corner, you notice this little toolbar, you'll see the um, time, the Wi-Fi sim symbol, your battery symbol, and your personal account icon. Click on that and then it opens up this pop-up, click on settings. That brings up the settings screen. Scroll all the way down here to the bottom where you will see show advanced and then scroll down here to the bottom and right down here in the left hand corner you'll see where it says power wash. Click on that, it brings up a little dialog box asking you if you really want to restart it. So restart it. Now notice that this is going to come up pretty quickly. We're just a minute into this process and we're about a third of the way there, if maybe that much. Now it's going to ask you if you really want to reset the device. So hit that button and then continue. And now it is erasing the drive and taking all of the stuff off of it. It said there was a quick little window that said the power wash was in process. And there you have it. It's ready to come up. And now it's all ready to set, sign back in. So we will select our Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. All right, and I'll hit enter. That should connect. Go down here to hit continue. It's going to ask you if you want to accept the license. Say yes. And it's just finishing up. Won't take that much longer here. Now it's time for me to go ahead and sign in. I'm going to do that. So now I just entered my password, my username, or my uh, email address and password, and it is signing in. And I'm pretty close to being ready, but now you'll notice that down here in the corner, some icons are starting to show up. That's because Chrome OS is reinstalling all of my apps, putting them back to this little toolbar down here, a little launch bar, uh, bringing up things like Hangouts and some little messages over there so it's pretty well close to being ready and notice I'm ready already to load up the um, the Chrome browser and I'm ready to go now notice that took all of about three minutes to complete from beginning to end now I'm doing it on a pretty quick Chromebook this is the Acer Chromebook 15 if you have a much older system, it may take a little bit longer, or if you have a really slow internet process, uh, internet uh, connection, it might take you a little while, but um, it shouldn't take much longer than that, and you're ready to go. Now, this is not the process you would use if you're selling your Chromebook. There's a little bit more you would want to do to zero out the drive, but if you're just uh, having a problem, say, uh, maybe the system is not performing properly, maybe it's really gotten sluggish or slow because of... Uh, a malformed um, plug-in or something like that or you just want to clean it up to hand it off to a friend that you trust uh, this is the way to do it and uh, here we've described it and talked about it and this video isn't even four and a half minutes long this has been Kevin Purcell for notebooks.com showing you how to power wash your Chromebook All right, as part of the uh, setting up process, the resetting of your Chromebook, what you might want to do, is there's a new feature in Chrome OS called Add New Services. I'm not really sure how long this has been here, um, but it allows you to connect your Dropbox or your OneDrive. And so if you click on that, and it will open up a dialog box, click on Mount, and it's going to take you to a, a login page for your Dropbox account. I'll do this later because I do want to show you one other thing. Click on that and notice it says install new from the web store. Click on that and the Chrome OS web store will come up and it give you some options that you can add.